In iOS 18, Apple has added some very cool features. And in this video, I'll get you up to speed so you can take your texting next level. The features mentioned here require iOS 18. So if your iPhone can't be updated to this version, you're out of luck. Some features like Apple's AI will require at least an iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, or the entire iPhone 16 series, and any iPad Pro with the M1 chip or newer. Many of these features are also available on the iPad and Mac running iOS 18 and macOS Sequoia. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Let's start with one of my favorite new features in iOS 18. Apple has finally added the ability to schedule your text messages to be sent at a future date and time. You can schedule messages up to 14 days in advance and your iPhone can be switched off or have no internet connection and it will still send the message. Let's take a look. So I have a message opened and I'm just going to go and type in a quick, this is a test. And if I want to send this message at a particular date and time, I'm going to tap on the plus sign right next to messages. I'm going to tap on send later. And now I can choose the date and the time that I want the message to be sent. So let's just say Monday, November 11th at 9 a.m. And now I'm going to go ahead and tap on send. And now you'll see how this message is highlighted. It's going to be sent on Monday at 9 a.m. You can also make your messages fun by adding effects that animate the text or increase its size. So to do this, let me just type in another message and I'll again just type in this is a test. And now what I want to do is tap on the A right above the keyboard. If you're not seeing this, maybe you haven't updated to iOS 18, or maybe you're unable to update to iOS 18. But you can also go into uh, settings, and it's uh, I believe I'll show you this real quick. If I come into settings, you can make sure that it's enabled, tap on settings, and then I'm going to scroll down until I see Apple Intelligence and Siri, tap on that, and then just make sure that you have Apple Intelligence turned on. So now let's come back to that text message. So it says this is a test. I'm going to tap on the A, the far right, and now I have the options here to how I send this. So I can kind of use these animations and you can see, you know, what they look like. And so once I set up the animation that I want to send, I would just go ahead and tap on send. And then that individual, when they receive that message, it will do that animation. Now, this will not work for SMS messages, but it will work for anybody who's on RCS, which is the new protocol that Apple has incorporated so that you can send messages with Android phones. Uh, it'll also work with um, your Apple ID messages that you sent, your iCloud messages. It just won't work with SMS. Prior to iOS 18, there were only a handful of emojis you could use for tap backs. With iOS 18, you can react to a text with any emoji from the emoji picker. So 
if I push and hold on one of these text messages, you'll see above the message the little tap back options appear. But I also have the option now to tap on this uh, little smiley face, the emoji icon. And when I do, now I have all of the availability of the um, emojis that I want to use. So you're not just limited now to those tap backs. You can tap the emoji. You can also add a sticker if you want. So I'm going to tap on add sticker and then you can choose one of the stickers available here. I can tap on any of the things here that I've created, the stickers I've created, or I can choose uh, the fitness, uh, animated fitness stickers, and then I can click on it and that will be added as an emoji. I briefly mentioned RCS support, which is uh, Apple's way of allowing iPhone and Android users to text because previously uh, the experience was subpar. In iOS 18, Apple solved this issue by adding rich communication services or RCS to the iPhone. And now Android users and iPhone users can exchange high quality images, videos, text reactions, read receipts, and more. Note that your carrier must support RCS to use it. Here's how to turn it on. So we're going to come into the settings app. Let me come back to the main settings page. Scroll down until you see apps. Tap on apps. Now I'm going to tap on M on the far right side so that I can quickly get to messages. Tap on messages and then scroll down until you see RCS messaging, tap on that, and make sure that those toggle switches are turned on. Now, when you send video or photos with uh, yourself and an Android user, they will be much better. While we're inside the Messages app in the Settings area, of messages, I want to point out this satellite connection demo. In previous versions of iOS, satellite capabilities were only available to emergency SOS services. However, in iOS 18, you can send and receive texts, emojis, and tapbacks using a satellite connection if in a remote location with no Wi Fi or cellular connectivity. Let's talk about the size of your emojis. When you send one, two, or three emojis, as you can see here with the hearts, they are sent without the blue bubble and the size of the emoji is bigger. However, if you add more than three emojis, they are sent in the standard size with the blue bubble. We can also add stickers and emojis as regular emojis. So prior to iOS 18, sending stickers and emojis could only be done as a single image, as you can see in this text above. But now you can use them as regular emojis. You can add several stickers in one message or even add them alongside regular text. So to do that, I'm just going to tap on the plus sign. I'm going to tap on stickers. I have some stickers that I created. I can tap on them and you'll see that they can be added. I can add several if I want to. If I wanted to add some emojis, I would tap the plus sign. And now I'm going to tap more because you can't see Memojis. But now if I tap Memojis, I can also add as many Memojis to the text message as I want to. We also have the ability to solve basic math equations and do conversions in several apps, including messages, allowing you to perform math problems such as splitting a dinner bill 
or sending a group their share of a vacation. So what you need to do is type in the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in uh, 1,200. And then I'm going to say divided by 4. And then now I'm going to add the equal sign. And you'll see the split for 1,200 divided by 4. Or if I want to do a conversion, let's just take um, 169 pounds to uh, kilograms. And then I'm going to tap on the equal sign again. And you'll see how it changes the uh, pounds to kilograms. So there's an easy way for you to do basic math in several of the uh, apps um, on your iPhone and iPad, but it also allows you to do it within the messaging app. The Messages app can now use Apple Intelligence to analyze and understand the iMessage or SMS you receive and suggest helpful responses. As you can see, the responses appear above the keyboard immediately after receiving the text. If the suggested reply is suitable, tap one of them to insert it into the message field, and then you can go ahead and edit it or hit the send button. As of iOS 18.1, Apple's AI writing tools are available system-wide in several apps, including messages. You can type what you want to say and now select the text. Go ahead and hit the AI icon right above the keyboard on the far right side. Tap on that. And now you'll have the option to proofread, rewrite, make it more friendly, professional, or concise. So if I just go ahead and tap on professional, it's going to go ahead and try to make what I just typed more professional. So those are how the AI tools work inside of the Messages app. As you can see, iOS 18 brings a wide range of exciting features to enhance your messaging experience, from scheduling messages and adding any emoji as a tap back to leveraging Apple's AI tools for smarter replies. There's something for everything, whether you're texting via satellite or want to do math equations in the Messages app, this update makes communication more dynamic. And with upcoming features like Image Playground and Genmoji, the future of Apple Messages is even more creative and personalized. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.